After many months of hard work, the FCC has finally delivered America's first national broadband plan. I offer my deepest thanks to the incredible agency-wide broadband team that has produced this plan. Their work is so important because broadband is indispensable infrastructure for the 21st century. The foundation for our new economy, the foundation for our democracy in the digital age. Broadband is a platform for opportunity, spurring economic growth and job creation. A platform for innovation, enabling anyone, anywhere to dream big and bring those dreams to life and a platform for solutions to many of the major challenges facing our nation. Education, healthcare, energy, public safety. Why does America need a strategic plan for broadband? To compete globally and to create real opportunity here at home. The rest of the world is not standing still and we are lagging in critical ways. Not everyone is connected not everyone who has access subscribes. Not everyone has the digital skills they need to participate in a 21st century networked economy. The speeds of our networks are not world class. We face real obstacles to our goal of leading the world in mobile. And we don't have a mobile broadband public safety network for our first responders. The good news is that we can change course and the national broadband plan points the way. The plan sets ambitious but achievable goals. It proposes a 100 squared initiative, 100 million households at an affordable 100 megabits per second to give the US the world's largest market for affordable, very high speed broadband and to unleash American ingenuity and ensure that businesses large and small are created here, move here and stay here. The U.S. should also lead the world in ultra-high-speed broadband test beds as fast or faster than anywhere in the world. The plan proposes that every community in the country have at least one public destination, whether it's a library or a school, with internet speeds of one gig or higher. We also need the world's fastest, most robust mobile networks, and the plan sets a goal of global leadership in mobile broadband. We must lead the world in creating opportunity. An unrivaled opportunity means that every American must have access to affordable broadband at a speed sufficient for meaningful use, no matter where they live or how much money they make. Opportunity also means that we need to move our adoption rate significantly from the current 65% to at least 90%, moving toward 100%. And opportunity means that we need to embrace a goal of universal digital literacy so that all of our kids have the tools they need to learn and compete in a 21st century economy. Every child in America must be digitally literate by the time he or she leaves high school. To ensure the safety of the American people, every first responder must have access to a nationwide, wireless, interoperable, broadband public safety network. The plan includes a series of recommendations and initiatives to fulfill the promise of a connected America and to make sure we maximize investment in this critical 21st century infrastructure. The plan includes recommendations for a once in a generation transformation of the Universal Service Fund over time to broadband support, for unleashing spectrum so that we have a mobile infrastructure that leads the world in speed, service, and innovation, for promoting competition, removing barriers to entry, and lowering costs of investment in broadband networks, and for ensuring that all first responders have access to state-of-the-art interoperable communications. It also proposes ways broadband can be part of the solution in tackling national challenges around healthcare, educational opportunity, energy efficiency. The release of the plan is a beginning, not an end. This plan is a strategic plan, a living, breathing blueprint to be reviewed and revised in light of experience and growing knowledge. And critically, it's an action plan. The plan makes clear that if we don't act, we face real risks to our global competitiveness, real risks to the US as the world capital of innovation, and real risks to the promise of America as the world's great land of opportunity. We now pivot from planning to action. We have a responsibility to act, and we will be tackling the recommendations in the important broadband plan. 
We'll be doing this through a process that's modeled after the broadband plan process itself. Open, participatory, fact-based, and analytically rigorous. The broader the participation, the better the results will be. I urge everyone to get engaged. Thank you.